Stop, man, stop. Why? Okay. Stop. Really? Yeah. Stop, man. Okay. You two can't stop. One. So, I have to take my spanner out. When your kids buy you don't have any brakes, all you need is a 10 spanner and a pliers. So, what you do, you hold the brake like this. And you just open it like that, anti-clockwise. And then you get your pliers. You pull on it like this. Well, it and then just, just tighten it back like that. Get your ten span like that. And now let's see. So what happened here? Mm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got a little break now. See? We should have here. So yeah, but you're not so. Oh, that make is sharp. Front one. To get a new break, kit for this one. This one here. So, and I guess so. That one fit. This one. What I see. Hmm. No break on the front one. Kid. Front one is not holding. So the same. What you're gonna do? You wanna make an adjust in here. Where you? Adjust here a little bit. This thing not working, so you just have to do the same thing right here. Hold it like this, hold the brake like this. Loosen it anti clockwise. Pull. Use your pliers to pull down the brake like this. So you pull down the and then you just tighten it back still holding it yep let's see yep so let's test this one yeah more brakes more brakes now then have a little test around In the days I used to do this a lot when I was much younger see now it's time to teach the kids and that's how you fix your kids brake whenever time their bicycle or their bike brake is not working fix it for them now you got a super sharp brake both front and back it's working who want a race now it's time to race and see which of the bike is moving along but yeah, so I'm gonna also adjust his seat because he said his seat a little bit too low. So I'm gonna use my 13 millimeter. What do we use for the brake is 10 millimeter. Now we're gonna use the 13. So as I said, anti-clockwise. A little bit, and then you're just gonna do it like this. What is it for fixing? It's for fixing big boy bikes. Yep. Now you see it a little bit more up. So we're gonna test. So you go clockwise to tighten it back. Yeah, 
breakfast. Strawberry bread, peaches. Daddy. Mm -hmm. I brought peaches. Okay. Does it look <laughs> One. So now next thing we would call it crab walk. Simple meaning the bicycle is not straight enough. So what I'm gonna do is just adjust the back wheel a little bit. I'm gonna use okay my 15 millimeter to just pull here. So when I'm pull here, put my hand here just to make sure both sides have the same amount of width and that's it I just tighten back here test it again yep so you make a good tight The only thing you need is just your spanner. You don't even have to carry your kid's bicycle to no bicycle repair shop to pay money. You just have a one-time money, buy a setup spanner with metric and standard, ranging from 10 to 17 millimeter, or from 11 16 to 5 8. And that's it, you got it now. We got to test if it's still riding straight. I really ride if you ride the next way though. At the next way, I'm mostly swing it around straight. Go. So, see? Yeah, you got it. One. So, that's the way you fix your kids' bicycle.